There we go. I think I am up and running. This is a mic check. If you're out there, hit me with a thumbs up, a like, or whatever, wherever you may be watching. And just let me know you can hear me. If you've watched before, you know that's one of my uh, issues is uh, getting my mic good. So I think we are good on the mic situation. Uh, yeah, I think we're good on the mic situation. So let's go ahead and get started. This is Ricardo Wilkins, and you are here with Coffee with the Cowbell. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm your host, Ricardo Wilkins. Resident Teams Geek, who likes to wake up on Saturdays with coffee and talk about teams. I'm just that kind of guy. And I'm sharing it with you. I'm assuming you're out there and you're a Teams Geek and you want to hear this stuff and you got your coffee and you're ready to go. That's what I'm assuming. So let's do it today. Um, I thought we'd talk about a little something. I know often I talk about uh, government client stuff uh, teams and government today I want to talk about loop or the fluid framework however you want to call it which isn't in, in uh, government yet um, but is making its way into the commercial client um, by way of the little f fluid components in teams chat so that's what I'll show today and uh, well, one of the things that it may not take that much time. And, and if you're out there and have some other questions you want to talk about, let me know. Now, full disclosure today, I'm having some issue with monitoring the chat. I am streaming on five different channels right now. Uh, I've added my team, I'm um, sorry, my Twitter channel for the Teamwork Cowbell. So that's Twitter slash Teamwork Cowbell, I believe. So I'm on Twitter, I'm on Twitch, I'm on LinkedIn Live, YouTube, and Facebook. So if you frequent any of those channels, and if you subscribe or are connected with Teamwork Cowbell, you can watch on your favorite platform. If you're not subscribed to Teamwork Cowbell, I don't understand that. Go hit those buttons right now. Take care of that right now before you take your next sip of coffee. All right. All that being said, I will try to monitor some chat here if possible, if you have questions or something like that. Otherwise, you may have to hit me up later. Okay. You just you wouldn't imagine all the screens I'm looking at right now to try to get this keep this thing going, but uh All right. Um and let me do one more thing here. Okay. So, let's uh switch over to my environment. Let's just get 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 right started here so um, yeah today we are in government client and we're going to show some of this loop stuff so uh, let me let me let me do one thing first here to kind of get us going I just wanted to bring up the page that kind of shows the full-blown vision this is not what we'll see today you know it's kind of coming out um, gradually but this is what I mean by loop if you weren't uh, sure what I was talking about this concept of these live components within chat but also within other parts of the platform where they are real-time uh, you're able to collaborate real-time this was announced a while back and what you're seeing here is really like you know the full vision of it I don't think this is fully there today um, but I wanted to just show that so you can certainly search you can play this video here later if you want to see great marketing material there uh, but you know that's what we'll show to, to some extent today and um, there is another page and I wanted to go to that as well 
uh, let's see here that shows some of the limitations of you know where we are today so um, if I can find it correctly let's see here I was just looking at it I think it's this one this may or may not be it this is not it one sec I was just looking at it this I think this is it this is not it however this is good uh, so you know over on the support dot send a live component in teams chat this is essentially what we'll be doing today so there's plenty of info out there if you want to look into this a little more but there's another site that I'm clearly not able to find here right away that uh, talks about some of the current limitations so for instance the big one right now for instance um, we're going to do these this this loop or this uh, live component in a team's chat I mean uh, in a private chat I should say not a team's chat and that's one of the limitations you won't get that interactivity in a channel chat you use the right terms here so um, that's one of the big ones so we'll, we'll, we'll see it let's just dive right in so let's go um, let's, let's do this and we are sitting here in our uh, Teams environment. So I am in the chat area. I am here talking to Bob and Nestor. <clears throat> and we're, we're, we're going just fine. And I'm going to go ahead in my chat <clears throat> and start up a loop or yeah, a live component. You can see it's this little thing here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That's what we're going to click on to get things going. When we hit that loop component, we're given some options, some choices about what we want to add. So you can see we got a bulleted list, checklist, numbered list. We just do a good old fashioned paragraph or a table, and we can decide how many uh, rows and columns we want there, or a task list. Let me back up a little and kind of talk about why I was even wanted to talk about this today. I have been using this for work related stuff this past week and if I take, an, take another step back you know I've, I've been with SharePoint a long time and SharePoint way back when really got the whole real-time co-authoring thing going right where we can get in our office files be working in it together see each other's cursors moving around in real time of course, OneNote for all of us OneNote fanatics is probably the uh, the original kind of OG of uh, real time collaboration. Not quite see your cursors move around, but you know syncing changes, pseudo real time. <clears throat> OneNote kind of I think did it first, but then uh, Office as a whole started doing real time collaboration powered by SharePoint and OneDrive, <clears throat> and we just been continuing to add on from there. So fast forward now to 2022. Yes, it is 2022. And yes, February is almost here. January is just about gone. That's a whole nother subject, but uh, we have loop. And so why, what's the big deal about real-time collaboration in this loop component versus real-time collaboration in the office files that we've been doing? And part of me wants to say, I'm not sure. However, I know that when we were using it this week on my team, it was cool and we couldn't explain to ourselves why, why it was so cool. <laughs> you know, and this is uh, us, you know, who are very much used to, uh, you know, real time co-authoring in office files. I think one of the advantages is, uh, you know, call it ad hoc collaboration. If I wanted to fire up an office doc just to you know, work on a bulleted list with uh, folks in the chat. I could certainly do that. I could fire up Word. I could throw it in the chat and we could. But there's a couple steps and kind of takes us out of the chat. Right. It's a context switching piece for me. This is just, just my personal view on it versus what you'll see here where we can start to work on this list of things real time collaboratively still in the context of the chat that we were in. So in this case, myself, Bob and Nestor are talking in this chat and imagine that the chat has progressed to the point where uh, 
we we need a list we need to uh, collaborate on something like that so Ricardo fires up a loop component and decides to make it a bulleted list we got some little syncing going on I'm gonna call this uh, uh, let's call it uh, food choices for the next uh, get together I don't know I'm not the greatest at coming up with uh, scenarios on the fly <laughs> All right so we get that going and in fact before I even start to do the first bullet you can see it's it's in draft mode Ricardo's editing but I haven't hit send yet so I'm gonna go ahead and hit send syncing and now we're up and running right now Ricardo you can see Ricardo Wilkins there I can see who has access okay now let's uh, I'm gonna I have Bob over here in another window okay and there you go Bob's getting some messages he comes over to chat you can see here Ricardo did a loop component he clicks on that uh, makes this go away now here we go syncing I've, I've joined the chat that you know was already there and there's that loop component there's Ricardo's cursor right and now I am ready to join the fun if I come over here to Ricardo you can see now I can see Bob has it open I can see Bob's cursor and let's see um, all right real time between us in the in the chat right if Nestor was around he could be in it too the chat I was in this week had about 12 people in it and if I remember right we fired up the loop and immediately like four or five people you know the bubbles appeared they were either reading it or um, it was you know it was a, a bulleted list we wanted some feedback and they you know they just started typing we've just had at it All right so uh, this is happening right within the chat it, as a chat message someone could continue to chat below hey everyone put your um, your options up in the loop okay it's its own chat post uh, in fact I mean I can um, you know I can like it right uh, I didn't I didn't try replying to it yeah that that, that works too you can see it uh, as it as a little thumbnail food choices for the next to get together dot fluid fluid is the file type we'll talk a little bit more about that in a sec um, but uh, so I can I can do all it's a post right I can do all those things that you would expect uh, related to a post we're still over here uh, you know it looks the same for Bob everybody's rocking and rolling okay so the next thing you're gonna ask one of the f next things you'll ask is uh, where else can I use this let's copy the link and let's go to Ricardo's uh, email web email I'll be specific about that because this, is, this isn't going to do this uh, in the um, desktop client I'm do a new message maybe to Nestor since he it doesn't seem to want to participate hey we're working on this loop and I'm gonna control V and I've pasted the uh, the loop there okay and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and send that so he'll be able to click and go to the office.com version of this we're gonna come back to this in a sec 
What I want it to do though is let's come back to here. Uh, da, 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 da. So this may not be ready for, okay. What I, I, I thought I saw this actually be interactive within the email and I might be missing a step here. But uh, whether that's whether I've was on a different version or not, but that's you know part of the vision of this is the same interactive component within an email, within a you know OneNote, all, all those kind of things. So I'm gonna think a little bit about what I might be missing here for just a sec. Da -da -da -da. I'm trying to think. What am I missing? All right, we'll come back to that. All right, so uh, we got this going here, but as we saw uh, the the title here, this hyperlink takes us over to office.com where another version still interactive of this uh, lives. So the question then becomes, when, where does this live outside of the chat? Uh, it's stored in OneDrive on the back end right now that i think in the future there will be a loop you know app but right now you just have the links that go to the loop let's go to my onedrive to kind of see what's going on behind the scenes and make this a little bigger for you in my onedrive we've always had these these aren't new for loop but teams chat files the files that i share in teams are in here and now I have two this is from earlier I have uh, fluid files <clears throat> that I'm sharing or that are in OneDrive so if you ever needed to get to them this would be the way to do that but you know part of why using OneDrive is a great idea is because just like any other file sharing is there the ability to you know manage it um, if nothing else for permissions um, is there okay so um, certainly the people that were in that chat know about that that loop component and uh, have access but if I wanted to add other people I could manage it here as well so you can see you can even see some of the stuff going on there you can even see the email I started, all right? So it's it's kind of aware of every all the pieces of this going on, all right? So uh, I don't know. In in theory, I don't know. I guess you could come here if you wanted a you know bigger view. Let me make this a little bigger here. But to me, the advantage is that I get to stay over in the area that I was in and get this thing uh, going. Um, I think one advantage you might have to coming back over here is uh, there were some uh, components here so you can see for instance I could make this even though I started it as a bullet list it's really just a canvas so I can put hyperlinks in there let's go back over see what that looks like see so you got hyperlinks there so I could do some stuff. It's not as flexible maybe as a OneNote page, but um, certainly more than you know what I started with. Uh, I'm trying to see, can I? I could do that. Yeah, I can do that within the loop component as well. So I got some of those things, including uh, yeah, I could do some bolds. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, change some of the fonts there so that one I took out of the bullet so even though so hopefully what you're seeing here even though I started with a bulleted list I, d I wasn't really stuck with just doing bullet points so other things can happen here let's, let's check in on Bob again obviously he's seeing everything I, I suspect at this point you believe me that it's real-time interactive and Bob can work in it together so we don't have to 
necessarily keep jumping back and forth there. Who has access? Um, people outside this chat with the link have access. Uh, I'm not sure if that's would ever update and show Bob. Okay, but we got that going right, and that's gonna stay. That's the, that's one I did earlier, Nestor. But that's gonna stay in chat, and even as we keep talking, you know, we'll continue to just be a forever living, you know, post that will, uh, you know, persist there. We saw that I could reply to it. Uh, save the message. Let's try to share the Outlook actually, because this might help me with uh, why it wasn't. Yep. So that's just going to give me a link to it. So that that that's fine. I mean, it'll get me to the component, but I thought it might uh, have the interactive piece in there. If you had not used Share to Outlook, it's pretty good, nice way of. Uh, getting something out of teams if you need to manage it in 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 outlook or you know send it to someone who's not part of the team things like that okay um and then i am gonna try one more time because i just can't help myself this piece here i must have been just been on a different version from for what i saw it's just turning it into a yep it's just turning it into a link all right so I'm not sure what I saw the last time all right but there's your loop let's let's try one more here with something like a task list so um, Sign that you always assign it to people who uh, aren't there. And uh, set a date. And let's see what happens when Bob gets this assignment. Okay, so Bob just got an assignment. Let's come over here. And oh, I have not hit send yet. Send it. Got some assignments. Got our profile cards on those because uh, that's just good stuff. Now I just I heard the little thing there. So yep, you got mentioned because of that assignment. So there's that mention. So me assigning it it to Bob is the same as mentioning Bob there uh, what I wanted to see though is if that shows up in TAS I, I'm actually trying this on the fly I haven't done the task list yet so we're learning this together okay. so looks like that is uh, not a true task is more of an app mention on a task I don't know what the future is for that whether these will one day be actual tasks but looks like they're essentially just mentions on a task okay now look at that reordering okay so this is nice because um, as you can imagine, being able to uh, real time check off when people do things, you know, it's cool. I don't know if uh, let's see. I don't think Bob will get any indication if I've checked him off. Other than he'll certainly see that it's checked off, but it doesn't look like it fires off any new things in the feed. So now let's click this too. Now this is actually in Bob. I clicked it over in Bob's profile. So this is Bob looking in office.com at the at the loop component that I created. So we can see what that looks like here. Okay. 
Oh, and then the comments. That's nice. So having a little conversation within the loop is pretty cool. What I was wondering is if uh, I could add, let's do control V. Yep, I can add images in there. See, this is a little cooler than even I had originally uh, thought. So again, this becomes a working, real-time working document. And document's probably not a good word there. Probably need to change my language. It's a, it's a, I don't know, it's a component. But we'll have to learn the new vocabulary as these things start uh, getting more use. But a lot, yeah, a lot of good stuff going on here. All right. Um, like I say, I believe, you know, right now it is all about teams chat I, uh, let me let me at least show though uh, so let's copy a link let's come over to channel chat uh, and as you can see there is no loop control down here what I can do though is paste the link and uh, of course I would uh, control K Make this look a little nicer. I could do that. It's a hyperlink. Someone can go click it, go to the office.com. So it at least can be placed other other places as a as a link. All right. But no interactive component here. Okay. And again, then the share button here in case I need to add people that weren't part of that original thing is sharing just like any other file you would use. I could add folks that weren't even part of the original conversation and uh, all that good stuff, right? So, so today it's uh, not necessarily in uh, channel chat. It is in chat here. And I think coming soon is uh, off, uh, Outlook for the web, a real time uh, component here. <clears throat> I just, I can't remember what scenario I made that happen in. But I did see that, I know, I'm pretty sure I saw that. So maybe I, once I figure that out, maybe that can be next week's uh, discussion point. All right. Um, I think that's the gist of it. We didn't obviously didn't go through all the different types, but I think you got the gist. Uh, you saw it interact with Bob. Obviously, it could have been much, many more people. And um, also, uh, you saw the reply piece. Uh, I suspect delete is probably deleting the post, but not the actual fluid file. Um, and so forth and so on. So, hope that was a good little introduction to loop or the fluid components. Again, there is info out there about all of this. If you want to see more, hopefully it all agrees with all the things that I've said here. Uh, as you can even see from this piece, someone on mobile could have been interacting with that as well. So, you know, the 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 productivity scenarios here probably go way beyond what I've, I've even mentioned. I've just mentioned a few. And I've just mentioned that in my limited use of it this week alone, I was seeing some, some great value. But as I continue to dive into it, I'll probably find even more uses. And maybe we'll just keep talking about this as we go forward. Again, if you're, a gov if you're using the government version of Teams, it's not there yet. I don't know what the date is. But if you are on a commercial you know, tenant, um, you should be seeing it. I will say in my demo environment, I did have to do a check for updates to get it to um, uh, update prior to updating. The update gave me the loop component and all the things you just saw prior to that. I think it had a, another, a different fluid framework um, logo. Maybe it had the same behavior, but certainly we're starting to now update the, 
the uh, branding there. So if you want, if you want to see what I saw and you're on a commercial tenant, make sure you do a check for updates um, if you're not seeing what I see. So I hope that was helpful and I hope uh, you enjoyed your coffee and I hope you join me next time that we have uh, coffee with the cowbell. See ya.